I'd like to invite for the launch of his new book, India Shastra, I'd like to invite Dr. Shashi Tharoor up on the dais to be in conversation with him, Mr. Sandeep Roy. You, you said in the introduction to this that this is sort of a, a de facto the third book in, an, in a sort of de facto India trilogy, um, with the first one being in 1997. So if you look back then and think of the India you had in mind that was coming up in 2015, 2020. So as it happens, um, the book has one peculiarity about it, whereas the other two are, are sort of somewhat more um, uh, 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 broad-ranging sweeps. This one starts off very much with the impact of uh, the general elections of 2014. And the first two sections of the book um, uh, the book, I beg your pardon? Modified India. Yeah, well, you see, the entire thing has only got eight sections. So the first two sections are completely uh, about the, 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 the new India, India modified and Modi's India and the world. But um, as with the other books, I also then move back to a broader sweep. So there is the legacy that they've all inherited going back to the 40s and onwards. Their essays about uh, the ideas of India, the contested terrain of Indian politics, some aspects of our society in flux. And so uh, the book, and then the final section is called India Beyond India, which includes a number of reflections that have, in some cases, only a tangential connection to India, in some cases, start with India and go beyond, including issues like the democracy versus development debate, India-China, the often, often seen as a paradigm, amusing back on my 29 years in the United Nations, etc.